joined now by Turan Gafarli. He's a researcher at the TRT World Research Center. Turan, thanks for joining us. Now, the first ceasefire that we saw was brokered by Russia between Azerbaijan and Armenia. It came into effect last Saturday. We're hearing about a new one that has uh, been brokered or backed by the Minsk group. Do you think this is going to last? Uh, personally, I wasn't expecting anything different uh, from Minsk group rather than calling it just for a uh, ceasefire, even though if it's humanitarian. Last 25 uh, years, uh, OSCE's Minsk group have achieved almost nothing, which creates a fears and anger in Azerbaijani people. Because as we saw in the previous story, the European Union does the same thing. They're just only calling for the ceasefire or decrease the role of Turkey out of nowhere. Uh, however, it is uh, just a conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Why they are not calling for immediate withdrawal of the Armenia from the occupied zones, as the United Nations say. That's a big question. So we need to question that first of all. And secondly, after even humanitarian ceasefire brokered in Moscow, we saw uh, two different missiles in two in just five days from each other hitting the uh, city of Ganja and killing uh, almost more than 20 people and even like oh, a year and a half uh, old ch ch child. So I think this ceasefire will not last because Azerbaijan is uh, fiercely determined to finish this off. And I see this ceasefire and uh, just a call of uh, the occupation forces in the begging but only peace uh, will be that Ilham Aliyev said uh, for Azerbaijan is just a visible of the occupants right. from the occupied zones. Turan, thank you so much for your take on that.